Good day! I'm Ia Kailaw of the Philippine Information Agency. This is our latest roundup of Hatol ng Bayan 2016 stories. The Armed Forces of the Philippines said that despite 22 cases of election-related violent incidents, the May 9 elections was generally peaceful and orderly. This was stressed by AFP spokesman General Restituto Padilla during a press briefing. Considering that Philippines have 92,000 polling precincts nationwide, Padilla said the number of election-related violent incidents have not even reached 1%. He said that what is important is that Filipinos were able to vote even when some polling places opened late due to some incidents. In the Bicol region, the Board of Election Inspectors from around 50 barangays of Sorsogon City were in good spirits even as they waited for their turn, bringing along with them the vote counting machines and other election paraphernalia at the City Hall past 12 midnight yesterday for the city canvassing. Meanwhile, voters in the five municipalities composing Davao Occidental Province have elected their first set of government officials as a newly created province. The candidates for the key positions sought by incumbent Davao del Sur Governor Claude Bautista, last termer 2nd District Congressman Franklin Bautista, and neophyte politician Lorna Bautista Bandigan are sure winners as they were lone aspirants respectively for the governorship, vice-governorship, and congressional seats in the 2016 elections. In the partial and unofficial results from the Commission on Elections as of 3 p.m., Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte leads the presidential race, while for the vice president position, it is still a tight race between Camarines Sur Representative Lenny Robredo and Senator Bongbong Marcos. And that's our latest roundup. For more news and updates, Subscribe to our social media accounts and visit our website, www.pia.gov.ph. I'm Ia Kailao.